Welcome to the HBM Test and Measurement FAQ video series. Hi, I'm Bart Morick, HBM Applications Engineer, and in this video I'm going to provide a short presentation on configuring the Gen High Speed GN 840 card for use with a triaxial piezo resistive accelerometer. A customer recently called in and wanted to use the Indevco Model 7274 piezo resistive triaxial accelerometer with the Gen High Speed system, and specifically our GN 840B universal amplifier. The GN 840B or 1640B sample at 500 kilosamples per second with 24-bit resolution. It supports nine different types of sensors that are selectable by each individual channel. It is the perfect solution for all kinds of mechanical testing such as shock and vibration in addition to impact testing. The amplifier comes in either an 8 or 16 channel version and can be placed in any variety of Genesis high speed mainframes from 2 to 17 slots for complete testing flexibility. So HBM engineers spent a few minutes setting up the GN840B to interface with this sensor. The sensor to be used is a very small package. There are nine connections that need to be made, plus and minus voltage excitation, plus and minus X, Y, and Z axis, and the shield. Each axis of the sensor is configured as a Wheatstone bridge. All three axes use the same excitation source, and then each axis is tied to a channel. The ability of the GN840B universal card to have individual modes per channel makes using the 7274 sensor easy to use without having to provide an external power source for the sensor. The output of the sensor is very, very small, as seen here, where the output is in microvolts per volt of excitation per G. So a high gain, low noise amplifier such as that in the 840B is the perfect choice. In order to make the measurement, there are three channels that are going to be required, the X, Y, and Z axis. There are three Wheatstone bridge circuits in the sensor package. With that, there are four basic connections in a Wheatstone bridge, two excitation pins and two signal pins that need to be connected to the data acquisition system. One channel needs to be configured such that it provides the excitation power required for the sensor. This is identified as the basic sensor mode. The other two channels need to be configured as a basic voltage channel set up for the differential mode as the excitation for the device is provided by the first channel. Configuring Genesis channels is covered in other Genesis high speed presentations in greater detail, but we'll go th quickly go through this. We identified the channels in our setup where channel 1 is the X, channel 2 the Y, and channel 3 the Z axis of our triaxial accelerometer. Settings can be made either through the table or through the interactive graphical interface on top of each page. Access to the calibration data sheet for the sensor is required or you can perform a manual calibration. Wiring the sensor up can be done using either a cable with a mating Odoo connector and accessible leads or one of the standard breakout blocks. In this case, we use three of the DIN rail breakout options that are available and the three meter cable to interface between the breakout block and the channel. Since the sensor uses a single excitation source, we need to configure the channels in two different modes. Basic sensor for the channel providing the excitation and basic voltage for the other two axes. The modes are similar in function except for the fact that the basic sensor mode provides voltage excitation in addition to a high gain amplifier. The minimum voltage span is 2 millivolts in both instances. This is important in that the Wheatstone bridge based sensor typically have a very small output and the high gain low noise amplifier will provide the best results. In the basic mode, the channel normalization is the same as in the basic sensor. Reading the data from the calibration certificate for the sensor, we are able to normalize the recorded voltage and convert it into the technical units that we want to use. Once the calibration values are entered, the sensor can be placed for proper pre-test orientation. The zero balance and calibration screen allows you to prep for the measurement with a starting point for each axis. Configure your acquisition mode and sample rate and start your test. 
After the data has been collected, you can evaluate your data using the tools that Perception offers, such as creating formulas, tagging the data, or generating reports. That's it, a simple way to use the GN840 or the GN1640B module to collect data using your NDEVCO 7274 piezoresistive accelerometer. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please feel free to call, email, or visit our website for the latest product solutions and downloads at www.hbm.com.